quick before Red Dog's ready. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are live here, guys. We got uh, Nexel starting in flight control as aliens. Godar starting in data core um, as. Oops, I flipped the wrong one. I'm sorry, guys. Oops. <laughs> if you check out data core right now, it's the early arms lab again. That's a really interesting play from uh, Godar. So Godar again doing something really interesting that only works in balance tests. They got that early arms lab, which leaves. Uh, and now they're ready to defend again. So they've not expanded that well. I mean, they're not in crossroads. It's when what you'd normally expect is to have a couple of rains, maybe even three, in crossroads, but they've got none. So. Grissy and Icebelt building up that RT there. Um, outside we got Bitey and Joshy. Let's see if I can just get uh, Bitey to the third degree as him and Joshy are setting up an ambush here to these two Marines. Here they go for the jump in. Joshy takes down Grissy. Very nice, buddy. Takes down Icefell, which is going to leave that extractor open. Yeah, and Vulcan Mendef uh, taking an opening in Crossroads. Only Signic was ready to defend it, and he doesn't want to take a 2v1. So he's just uh, sitting around patiently waiting for an opportunity. He does actually parasite Valk, which has revealed himself. He's actually parasited both of them, so everyone knows everyone's there. Uh, Reactor Core taking a lot of damage. Uh, Goldie taking the damage on the extractor, and R-Line ready to drop down on Alcalde. Nexel, our line. No, oh, take him down. Ice Belt now running in there. It's 37% on that RT. Our line now moving up into the vents. Try to get away. He's pretty low on health. 20% there. Yeah, I mean, he's looking for an opportunity. He's got no health to actually take a serious bit of combat. Uh, so he's waiting for Ice Push on, maybe. Take out the extractor. Yeah, take out the extractor, yeah. Ice Belt, I don't think, is going to go so far away from that extractor. <laughs> Yeah, you must know. It's good though, it's smart. I mean, there. If you look at the, the cyst line for the uh, alien side, they're actually investing in the cyst to atrium and sub access. Probably won't drop both extractors, I would expect them to drop the extractors where they win combat. So, uh, Joshi and uh, Bitey taking out uh, Alcalde, leaving sub access clear. Probably drop that harvester. Check out Computer Lab. You got Signic sneaking up on Mendas, but Mendas and Vulk pushing in together onto that uh, outer hive, uh, outer extractor. A versatile in defense is Gorge though, so they can't snipe it, because you can just heal it up. So Vok and Mand are going to move into Crossroads. So far on control <laughs> of the map, 3-3 three and three right now. I mean, you said the Sys Chain's moving both directions, which is... Uh... Well, check out our line's patience in Reactor Core. He's finally just moving now. <laughs> He's like 74% He's health now. <laughs> he was at I 20. I mean, that was, he must have been there a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now we it's got out, though. moving into crossroads with three marines, and our line is now, his patience is pulling off, he moves in, and that extractor is his. So they went shift hive, uh, Nexel going shift hive first, two spurs have been completed, gorge tunnel research has started, so this is interesting guys, look where the shift is, look where the shift is, this is a great tactic. So what they're going to do, and I can probably already know what they're going to do, they're going to keep a, um, a drifter there. And what's going to happen, they're going to evolve the echo ability um, for that shift. And then that fully built uh, harvester that's there in their main base, they're going to uh, put infestation down to another point on the map where there's an RT, or where there's a resource nozzle. And then they're going to echo their home base harvester onto that resource nozzle that's out and then build another fully uh you know build a full one in their main base completely protected it's a great strategy that i've seen being used yeah and once you've bought the shift it's essentially free from that point and it's just so safe to build extractors oh, in sorry, your own yeah. base echo ability you do not have to research uh, yeah yeah it comes with the uh, shift uh, and you can move harvesters uh, crags you know, all those kinds of things. You can also move eggs. Uh, I'd probably like to see an egg sort of like drop somewhere snazzy, like maintenance access or something. Just for some unsuspecting lo uh, skulks every spawn in the middle of nowhere. See, now, um, if you look, they already used the first echo ability into Crevice. They built another one there in flight control. So as they cyst, three spurs now have been completed. And they're cysting into sub access.
We've got three skulks pushing to Atrium. Gold is taking a lot of damage before he does anything to Ice Bolt. Ice Bolt goes down really quickly. All three skulks are in extremely low health. So Mandubs can actually take this combat if he takes the damage. <laughs> Man, so sees close. A bunch of teeth flying at his face. <laughs> and he gets taken I'm down. Sure. I'm and sure if Joshi... he knew they were low, he would have pulled it off. Yeah, Joshi now is going to work on that RT. Meanwhile, Sick Nick against Alcalde in some access. Trying to get a little bit of nice metting there. Nice metting there by uh, High Vol. Yeah, it's expensive, but if you look at expensive, Marine Commander can afford it. He's sitting on six extractors. Uh, Atrium and Sub Access were taking damage, but they have managed to hold them. Um, if we look at the upgrades, they did go early armor one and weapons one, but from this point, actually, they, they haven't actually upgraded anything beyond that. So the early arms lab seems to have paid off, but they're actually relenting a bit on the upgrades. Uh, they've stopped. They seem to have got shotguns, but not much else. Seen a Craig um, now going up in flight control up against their extractor. Ice Belt Men's app sniping that extractor in crevice 35%. So they went celerity first, would it be? Or they at least went spur? Does that mean the Skulks went celerity? I mean, I doubt uh, they went adrenaline. Yeah, I'm guessing so. I'm guessing they wouldn't go adrenaline. I mean, that's usually for the gorges. But, uh, yeah, I'm guessing the Skulks are now on full, they have three Spurs, so they're on full Celerity, or at least full The good uh, thing in Balance upgrades. Test about Celerity is uh, it act it's active in combat as well, so if you take damage or deal damage, you don't lose that speed, I think, um, which makes it a lot better. And you're seeing the same thing with the Regen as well. Uh, it doesn't deactivate when you take damage, uh, or you deal damage. Seeing that the extractor has been um, d uh, blown up in sub access, and we're seeing now that uh, quite possibly they will echo a harvester there in the sub access if they can secure there it. There it is. But Alcalde comes through. So he went to uh, crossroads. Oh, so they echoed it to crossroads. All right. And then the second one's already being uh, you Look know, at that. set up. I mean, it's it's a great strategy to keep, you know. I mean, and and plus, uh, the ones that are out of your main base. I mean, they're fully built and fully extracting, you know? No Marine's gonna come around the corner and then, like, kill your extractor that's that you just spent money on and it's just building. <laughs> yeah, it's just as expensive, but you get way more time, response time, for your aliens to come and defend. So you can mm -hmm. see Grissy's now coming into Crossroads, but the extractor he's coming up against is full health with very, you know, a lot of maturity, uh, which is giving extra armor. Going to be taking that down quickly with a shotgun. Vok now on the other side. So even though with shift, um, it looks like you know you can do that cool little echo thing. Um, looks like it's not really helping them <laughs> because they're getting tagged yeah. pretty easily without Kara. And now yeah, I saw some good combat in sub. Um, I can't remember who it was, but an alien actually one v one, and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have won that one v one if he hadn't if he'd had Carapace instead. Because he used his speed to stay extremely close. They've actually moved their shift. Oh, that's a mistake. I think they moved their shift um, to the computer lab uh, position, and they've moved it back now. Can you see that? Oh, and yeah, that might have been a misclick. misclick. Yeah, misclick. Yeah. So he echoed the shift accidentally without uh, echoing the uh, the harvester down into computer lab. And they had marines there as well, so we're probably stressing about losing his feet being red shift. <laughs> So we now got uh, Goldie up against Mendas, uh, followed by Icefelt there in Atrium. I'm liking so far um, Godar's kind of spread. I mean, they got a phase gate now um, in Data Core. They're going, uh, it's going up in Crossroads, which is a critical position there. They're kind of keeping the aliens back, right? I mean, the, the aliens have been trying to expand into sub access in Atrium since forever. <laughs> and uh, Godar keeps pushing them back, which is uh, really nice on their part. Yeah, aliens playing expansion and then using the, obviously using the shift, uh, trying to just build and expand, and using the life forms to control the expand. But they're not actually pushing. So if you imagine the number of times you've seen life forms on the east side of the map, reactor core, data core, vent, I don't think I've seen it, uh, and I think that's costing them at this point. Yeah, there's another echo harvester down in sub access that um, is. Unfortunately, being attacked by Alcalde, once they echoed it, he came right around the corner. <laughs> so, just bad timing. Um, yeah, it's hard here. to know if it's worth it, this investment. Uh, if they're already ready, they're, uh, we've seen combat. Uh, Goldie up against Alcalde, even with the medpacks, does actually manage to take him down. And that's that celerity again. Yeah, even you if see the how, Marines... that was crazy. 
It's just the speed. I mean, you can stay close to the Marines, and that's what you need to do the damage, so you'll win the fight. Well, our line, so we are seeing our first fades. Yeah, our line and Joshi are fades. And we see um, our line and Sicknick there in crevice. Check out Joshi's health as he just got away. Wow, very, very He's low. healing he now, just, but he, he was very low. And he just, like, slammed through that, too. Yeah, he popped into cre uh, crevice, saw the two Marines, uh, flew around a bit, took a lot of damage, and then left. He didn't actually do anything. I can't say he would have been happy if he actually lost target. it. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking around, thinking... Oh! Joshy does take down Grissy. Um, we've got Goldie coming around the corner, getting a shotgun blast to the face. Our line does take him down. Phase gate um, goes down in crossroads. Nexel working on the RT now. Yeah, I mean, Nexel are playing really well at uh, stopping the Marines from you know, coming into their side of the map, but the Marines are doing the same thing. Uh, the phase gate's down, but they're not actually on the far side of the map. They've, they're just holding the center. So it's pretty even, I'd say, uh, in terms of life forms and map control, but actually the, the res advantage to Marines is quite significant. Oh, yeah. it's amazing. Like, look, Grissy just comes in, Bitey takes down that extractor. Now Grissy is going to go down. Valk is going to shoot everyone else away. He finds yeah, he scares them off, but it's a bit late. Drift is not stealth, yeah, so... Mendas and Icefelt takes down the Harvester there in Crevice. As they move back, Nexel sitting on one Harvester. Their other, their only other one up is uh, being attacked in Computer Lab. Um, and they just built one back in their main base. And look at this move by Nexel coming into Atrium. Yeah, replacement phase getting crossroads with the arc, uh, the, the robot factory at least, probably an arc factory I would expect at this point. The Marines probably looking to actually co consolidate a, a win here, because uh, at the moment it's just waiting for Onus. You can see that the, the aliens running out of strategies and they're going for a basement. Oh, no, they want out, no um, observatory. So no beacon. So they do know, I mean, this this is going to be a massacre on the aliens. Sicknick better be careful. Yeah, that, that was bad. <laughs> that, that was bad. All those life ones came in, a couple died, and the defense, rest were like, yeah. get out! <laughs> I mean, but what did they lose? I mean, was it two skulks? I don't think they lost anything expensive. They did not lose anything expensive other than losing, like, I guess, time on the map for hitting somewhere else. I mean, that was just kind of like a wasted effort right there. It's hard to say, though, because if you're forcing Marines to come back from Crossroads to defend Data Core, then it's both teams losing time, so the Marines weren't pushing, um, but the aliens weren't, uh, you know, doing anything. Yeah, true, uh, but it's just one phase gate, uh, one phase gate right away, and then they phase through back on Crossroads, and Crossroads is such a strong position around the map that they can, you know, get back in Crossroads and then just be anywhere on the map in just a few seconds. We've seen the atrium has dropped, uh, we've got the high of 11% growing, and then just scanned, so the Marines oh, are, are at least prepared for this, I mean, we're going to see how they respond. Here they come, two fades, a lurk, and a skulk now coming back into data core. Our line comes in first and actually comes up against that hidden marine with a shotgun. Oh, Josh is taking a lot of damage there. I'm not sure why he was going up against two marines when his backup just uh, fell away. Uh, yeah, our line came in first and took a lot of damage and had to fall back almost instantly. Yep, Josh is down. We got Godar, two marines in flight in the main base. Valk and Alcalde, they just took down a spur. They are down to just one spur upgrade. That's going to be expensive to replace, considering that they're just on one. Again, this is this is what Godar is doing. They, they, it doesn't seem like they're so aggressive. They're just like, I think what you said in the last game kind of hit it off. They're relentless. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're, just, they're just kind of like, you know, keep the constant pressure. It's not like a huge thing, except, of course, what they're doing right now in Atrium. <laughs> that power node, if it wasn't... Ki oh, they should have killed that power node. Because, wow. I mean, look, that phase gate is so incredible. As soon as they respawn, they're up yeah, against the height. Yeah, they're hive. right there. Look at and that. they've got a gorge tunnel, but, I mean, they're camping it now, and it's going to go down pretty quick up against those shotguns. Yeah. Gorge tunnel's going to Where are the fades? There we go. On the R line on fade. Little counter coming in crossroads just by a skulk against that phase gate. That's not going to work out, and it looks like they're going to take the phase gate, or one person's going to come back into crossroads, shoot them off. Now that hive is going to go down. They lose Atrium. That's a blow to Nexel. That is tough. Yeah, aliens in a seriously weak position now. I mean, you look at the extractors. I mean, the whole harvesters, whatever they're called, they're sitting on one. 
and I suppose they're shifting them out every so often, but that means, I mean, they're just, they're not really good on res right now. They got a lot saved, but that's just a replacement hive that they just lost, so. Yep. And look at the Spurs not replaced as well, so. Exactly, yeah. they're, they're sitting on very low, um, you know, little upgrades, um, one extractor, they can't expand anywhere, they're trying right now, Goldie doing a little bit of RT harassing, uh, followed by our lines and Bitey in sub access. Um, I, I think it's just too little too late at this time, and, uh, and Alcalde setting up Crevice. They're probably going to just move that phase gate that's in Atrium um, straight into Crevice or Summit Reception and just kind of hammer away. Another good spot yeah, I mean, is Computer Lab if they can kind of choke them that way. I suppose the optimum phase gates would be Summit Reception and then somehow uh, sub access and, then, and crossroads maybe, or maybe that's a bit excessive. But it... Well, I would say Summit Reception and Computer Lab. <laughs> For like control hive, that would, <laughs> I've yeah, seen that happen perfect, in games, yeah. and that's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here we go! Alcalde yeah. and Mendas coming in to flight control. They are just shooting the place up. They're going for the first. Oh. He's taking out Joshy. He's just sitting on the side of that hive, not taking shotgun damage. He jumps down and takes out Mendas, and Alcalde gets taken out by the uh, by our line coming back to defend. But. A failed push isn't quite the same as a failed defense. I mean, a failed push is not that much. We're seeing it cost now, much. Um, we're seeing our line and sickness coming around the corner into some axis. They were going like all out, and then they turned the corner and they see Mock and Ice Melt. And they like did a <laughs> complete scared. 180. And they were like, whoop, wrong way. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the aliens are scared right now. I mean, they know how strong these marines are. They've not actually got upgrades. I mean, weapons 2, armor 2 are nearly finished. Which is quite strong, but it's not the weapons 3, which is, you know, the, the, the real kicker. They haven't got carapace, though, so... It's, if you don't want to be a fade-up against weapons 3 shotgun yeah, without I, carapace... I that's, think, that's ultimately, mad. that has really hurt Nexel throughout this game. Um, I, I get the opening with the with the shift, and, and I mean, and celerity is really good for speed tanking. There's, there's an EVE Online reference for you. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, Carapace really does help, especially into the mid-game where we're at right now, or mid to late yeah. where we're at, and, uh, yeah, Mendas and Alcalde doing, keeping that pressure on the north side of flight control, and now, here we come, they're timing it, two-prong kind of pressure, we got Valk and Icefell on the south end, this is tough, I mean, now Nexel's kind of like, crap. <laughs> like, stuck. where do we yeah. go? <laughs> and here we go. There's the timing push. Nexel is going to focus on one of the ends. Doing a good job there. Just cleaning up Alcalde and Mendas. Oh! Valk's doing a fantastic job. He's done so much damage as soon as he came in. He's got a couple of kills on a Skulks. And sends these fades running. Ice spot trying to hold his own, but I mean, he's back, got a map and maybe some med packs. But it's not back enough. in Data Core, there was a little bit of a, um, uh, I'm sorry, of a bile bomb rush, oh, but okay. nothing destroyed. They're just healing up right now. Signet moving to sub access and get scanned. I don't know how they managed to scan that so perfectly. And, uh, I'm not sure. We're not seeing much arc. Like, where are the? We've not got sentries. Um, oh, we have got sentries. One in crossroads. Uh, on Sentry's that base game. Crossroads. We got Max on the field. Uh, Alcalde yeah. and Mendas uh, back in crevice. They're going to rebuild that RT. RT now by Goldie being harassed in Atrium. Sickness and R lines. R lines as a fade. So fade and lurk coming into Crossroads from Computer Lab. Wow, I am not <laughs> used to seeing this. I am not used to seeing fades just. I mean, really, it's a 50 50 who's going to win. I mean, before it was like, oh, well, there is a fade, they're just gonna, like, roll through them, but now it's just like, I don't know who's gonna win. Yeah, these fades are terrified. I mean, our line, he can't afford to lose that fade, because as soon as he does, it's, it does, it's pretty much good game. They look at their life bombs and their heroes, they can't afford to replace him. I mean, Goldie's sitting on 54, so they're clearly saving for an Ono, so it would seem like the aliens are actually planning to hold off for what would be another two minutes, uh, get the Onos. Um, or perhaps two, I mean, bite has got 54 as well, so two Onos with a fade, and that's a pretty good push, but they can't afford to lose that fade, otherwise they've, they've got nothing to kill these marines. Well, they just echoed a, um, a harvester to computer lab, they got now two marines with a Mac backup, Mac support in flight control. I think Storm has dropped, so all these aliens moving faster in their home ground, and only the Mac's left to survive, and he's getting taken out as well. Uh, 
it's just strange because the Marines have so much T res, they've got so many extractors, and they're pushing as well, but they're not pushing very well, and it might cost them. I mean, they're losing a little bit of map control. You can see the momentum the aliens are building, and they're a little bit more confident now that their uh, aliens are a little bit closer to Onos. Well, this uh, biomass now has started. They're um, sitting on uh, two right now. They're going to try to get full biomass there. Um, weapons three is going to be done in just a few seconds here. They do have advanced weapons. The radar does have advanced weapons. Faith Gate and Atrium was taken down, so a little bit of potential for the aliens to, uh, to start taking the sides of the map, so Atrium and Sub Access. Oh, replacement in Summit Reception, though, so Let's maybe not. Look at this resource tower map. I mean, look how long Godar has been on four plus resource towers. I mean, wow. Forever. They've been on five plus seven <laughs> at one point. Seven extractors. You can't beat oh, that. Oh, lurk down. Sicknick goes down to a pistol shot by Grissy in Summit Reception right there, guys. That hurt. But he does secure the room. I mean, he died for the phase gate. The phase gate is not up. Uh, some backup coming in now. And where's this fade? I mean, what what is our line up to? It's going to be so difficult when he's on his own. He's not got a pack to run with. Coming up against two marines is more than he can handle. And even one marine is pretty scary. Umber research has started. Uh, with that biomass now done. Bok, ice okay. belt. Um, walking into sub access. Joshi on low health, knowing that they're there. The cis chains are being cut right now. Aliens are probably under a lot of tension right now because they just want to get Onos and start turning this around, but with two uh, team extractors, that 58 res is going to become 60 really slowly. They've just got to hold off until these Onos... Uh, we've seen... But he was actually upgrading some skulk there. Uh, they dropped a T res lurk, or perhaps a P res lurk, for Sicknick with the Umbra, so they've got a plan, they've got a Fade lurk, uh, two Onos and perhaps a Gorge. Uh, they're going to run uh, Umbra to oh. keep the things alive. Look what's happening in Data Core. Two gorges in the vents that just Joshi and Versal egged up in the vents. Scanned? Did they see it? Uh, nope. I don't think they see it. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's inches from a game changer. Oh. They're waiting as well. They're, they're waiting, waiting for them there. to push. Yep. And there's the push up against Summit Reception, and here they come! Genius. Wow, here they go, they're going after the upgrades, they're catching Godar oh, out of so position! Low. Beacon, the arms are definitely down. Five marines in base with no upgrades, not with the armor, so the face gate's going down as well, these gorgeous just dying for the cause. Oh my god. Oh, they almost won! Oh, the face gate oh, does get blown up! Such smart play from Nexel. Wow, this is really good. Nexel does destroy Summit Reception. They need to move quickly, they need to take advantage of this. They've got the Arms 60 res, so they're fighting Onos. Our line's low, he's got sentries to deal with, so he, that's the sentries though, they can't deal with his face gate straight away, just the sentry. And oh. then there's some Grissy on defense. They needed, they needed some other life forms to back up those gorges, uh, I think, you know, or they could have waited a little bit uh, more for, um, for, uh, for that Onos. Oh, man. Goldie wow. has just dropped 60 res, so he's going Onos and yep. Baiti as well. That was a really good play though, I mean turning that around with the arms that push and the summit reception push with the with the life forms that were actually for the combat. Oh definitely, I mean... That slowed the marines down. And, and that scan just missed them! <laughs> oh, <imagine. laughs> they were in there, it was like, by oh. inches! <laughs> How did he know to scan but not know where? Oh that's mad. Oh, I can't believe right, it. He'll watch that back and... Vok and Grissy building, rebuilding the um... Here See comes the Onai! Coming into oh. summit reception! Making a mess of things! They kill the mech first. Actually, Goldie chases the player, uh, just clearing the room so the bite you can do the damage to the buildings. And nice. The Umbra down. Look at the Umbra! I mean, those guys now 32% reduction in damage. That is a lot of damage you have to now do to an Onos to keep him dead, but they haven't got Carapace, so it's kind of mm -hmm. pretty much expected now. It's not It's not extreme. And then they've got four, four Marines coming back into Summit Reception. Goldie. He's caught out here, he's Onos, he can charge down that corridor, oh he's still got pistols on his back. Here comes the other Onos, he's gonna get caught between them! Bitey's gonna get caught! A lot of damage. 40%, oh my god, they lose a fade! Bitey might get caught 6%! Oh! Bitey's down! Losing an Onos, losing a fade! Oh boy, that is... 
That is painful. Yeah, I mean, they really had this next door. They could have turned it around with the two Onos and the Fade and the Lurk as well. And they, they nearly had it. Summit Reception was down. They, sh they should have expected the four Marines to come back in and been a little bit more prepared. They, yeah. they, they caught Bitey out. If they if they waited, if they were able to hold off, you know, with that double gorge push, if they were able to hold off the Marines just a little bit, waiting for the Onai to come out, and then maybe put an Onos there with the gorges, like out, out in the wings somewhere, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I think that could have helped a little bit. That could have changed the game um, there, but... Wow. That was crazy. Yeah, but then again, a... the whole team did get beacon back, so that Onos probably would have been lost. <laughs> Yeah, but if they had waited for the Onos at Summit Reception, they would have cleared that, and then the Onos would have pushed to Crossroads. Uh, the sentries would have been, you know, he would have been tanking the sentries, and they would have cleared Crossroads, perhaps, and uh, Data Core would have been taking longer to clear out, so the Onos is risky, but it might have worked. Well, they do have now um, back the Phase Gate Blueprint and an Armory in Summit Reception. Um, it is really tough. Nexel is sitting on one extractor uh, versus you know, five and six. Prototype lab has been lost because there is a gorge. Joshi, he is just running around bile bombing their base. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Axe nice. kills. So yeah, uh, this is uh, this is tough. Yeah, well, it's unfortunate. The aliens sitting on one extractor right now, and they've got no any. They've got no P-res, so they can't get the fades. They've got no second hive for the T-res uh, fade drop. And they just got Goldie on defense, they're just going to defend until loss, I think. I mean, they're going to have to seriously hope for maybe a three gorge push into Data Core and just kill everything at once, but it's madness. I mean, I don't think we're going to see it. So it's now, like, down in sub access, we got Arline doing a little bit of RT harassing right now. They got all, uh, Godar has all the phase gates up. I mean, the main kind of front line of the fight here is right here between flight control and summit reception, this north doorway. Um, you know, they are echoing out uh, more extractors. You're seeing Joshi and Arline pushing into uh, Pipe Junction Data Core. Uh, I think they're trying to sneak in and try another attempt. Oh, uh, Joshi gets taken out one shotgun shot. They're probably going oh! for the gorge push again. Oh no! Goldie down! The bone wall comes a little bit too late! In yeah, flight you can control! See the bone wall. Oh boy. It seemed inevitable though. I mean, he can't defend forever with yeah. an Onos. Eventually, they're going to push a little bit too far and get taken out. Yeah, and that and Umbra yeah, is not cool. going to work out. Here comes Grissy, Alcalde, Icefelt, and Mandas. Grissy does have a grenade launcher, and now he's just wow. lobbing them freely. Yeah, the Marines have got nothing to fear. There's, there's no life bombs. They lost the Onos. They've got one lurk, but not much. I mean, Mandas is doing a lot of damage already. Yeah, this is, this is it right here. 78% on this hive. Grissy now just lobbing those grenades in. The other Marines just trying to protect. Um, Grissy as he just loads those in. I kind of look at them as like human arcs. <laughs> <laughs> they just sit back and do that. Yeah. They have emotion. Oh boy. There goes uh, the last spur is down. Prototype Lab has been put back up. No other counters are on this map right now. Yeah, this is just straight up army versus army combat in flight control and the marines are going to win it because they've got the phase gate to replace anyone that goes down yep. uh, they've got welders and med, med packs because no one so no one is going to go down they've got shotguns and a grenade launch just they just need some, eggs. some max in there now <laughs> and uh, repairing <laughs> everybody and they're they're set <laughs> they can i want to set up shop. pull back <laughs> pull back get the exos there we go go to our wins guys wow 28 minutes